is here is the team, here is the coach, and these robots mean absolute. I'm scared. Todd, <laughs> I'm scared with what, what, what is transpiring here. Tell us all about the World Championships and what's happening at the school. Well, we got uh, four teams going to represent, well, I guess our, our city, our province, and our country in a in a less than a week at Anaheim. There'll be, uh, there's 10,000 teams to compete to get to do this, and uh, we've got four of them that'll be uh, playing in the World Championships. I mean, it's a big deal to have uh, four teams in the World Championships, and uh, Brian's going to get a close-up. Hold on, can you, can you have the robot just stand still for a second? Because I want to appreciate the craftsmanship. You go out, you've got the, the whole team here. Uh, Andy and Timothy. Timothy, you've been to this before, right? Yeah, this is my fourth year going to the World Championships, and it's my last. This, this is the finale for you. Now, yeah. as we look at this, you, you essentially, as the team, you are building these, these robots from scratch, right? Yep, yeah, there's no instruction manual that comes with the kit. It comes with all the parts, all the gears, and all the motors, but we got to put it together and design it. Amazing. And uh, Andy, you, you've been there before? Uh, I haven't been to Anaheim before, but this will be my second year in Roblox. And it's exciting when you have the idea of teamwork. I'm looking at this old school telephone cord. I love the idea of taking random objects and piecing them together. That is a legit old school cord, yeah? <laughs> yeah, it is. It's, uh, we borrowed the odd one out of the school, yes. That's true. <laughs> and there's various games that get played at the World Championships. Tell us about uh, the art of how these, these uh, robots go to work. Uh, these ones are mainly designed for uh, a two versus two. Um, you see some of the game objects here and there were certain points and uh, you have a 15 second autonomous and a minute 45 and you basically have to outscore your opponent. You can play a bit of defense, you can play offense, but at the end of the game when the, the match settles you need one more point than the other guys. So forget the NHL playoffs this oh, year. Yeah. We're all about the robotics championships. This is serious <laughs> business. Timothy, when you guys are on the floor, is there a lot of trash talk that happens between teams? You know, you represent BC, but these are teams from all over the world. It's really interesting because you get to see all the different games that everyone play everyone has their own style playing the game their own strategy and when you put two teams from different across the world so what happens at the world championship is you have to form an alliance so that's two robots so one team is one robot and then you have to form a team of two so when you put those two different strategies together you get really interesting games that no one has seen yet it's like robot survivor <laughs> all laying out here. Andy, what's your favorite part of doing this and being a part of this? Uh, I like thinking through all the different strategies and just leading and helping lead the team and bouncing ideas back between Tim. You know, and Todd, I was saying to you this uh, to, to you, uh, you know, before, like the creativity that goes behind it's so crucial to, to get something different from the original curriculum. Yeah, and the other thing is every year they change the game. The game completely radically changes every year. So these students at the beginning of the year, they know just, nobody knows what the right answer is, and they got to come up with it. They can't come to me and go, hey, well, what is the right answer? Well, we don't know, and they have to go through the research. They do a whole series of tournaments. Um, these robots come apart and go back together about seven, eight times in the year, completely to pieces and bits, as they evolve and get better and better and stronger and stronger. Okay, and as I look at the game faces on the entire <laughs> team here, savages, I can see the intimidation. Uh, it's, there's a great significance behind the name Savage, right? Yeah, um, we're Robo Savage. Well, Gladstone's our school. Robo Savages, uh, years uh, ago, about 10 years ago, uh, a friend of the school and a teacher there, Mike Savage, passed away uh, after a battle of cancer, and we had to come up with a unique name, and the kids, when knowing the, the history that, decided to honor him with that name. So we're the Robo Savages. He's got a legacy. You're representing BC. Congrats to the entire team here. Is there a chant that we can go out on here? Do you guys have a special uh, chant for the okay, Robo well, Savages? You want to try to do it? I guess you get a call. Do you know how to do it? Yeah. Okay. Put your hands on it. Do it quick. Robo savages. Robo savages. Robo savages. The drive. And it is before 8 a.m. and they are 13 years old. So the energy we're getting up. Robosavages.com is the website. Uh, there are donations that people can support. Yeah, we could use new motors. We wear them out all the time, and a few other little things. And it would be a big help. We don't have a huge budget, and these kids do a lot with what they got. But a little bit more would help us a little bit. That's for sure. Awesome. We'll put that website on our Facebook page. Congrats, kids. This is awesome. Next week, the championships go down.